My parents gave me the name Zheng Lunfa. It was not until I recently had to pick a name for my daughter that I realized how meaningful a name truly is. My name is pronounced in Cantonese. It was then phonetically translated through the use of pinyin, Lan Fat Trung. I had no idea what that meant. And quite honestly, I did not care, but I did not like it. You can imagine growing up as a short and skinny Asian kid. Being called fat was not a lot of fun. When I was around four years old, my kindergarten teacher suggested to my parents that they should really give me a proper English name. To this day, I'm not sure how I feel about an educator telling my parents that the name they gave me was not proper. As odd as that was, my parents went home. They instructed my older sisters to help me choose a new name. They sat me down, took out a big book of baby names, and just started reading English names to me one by one. After what felt like hours, I stopped them and said, that one. I gave myself the name Jason. Jason comes from the Greek word Yashin, meaning healer. The name is also referenced in Greek mythology by Jason the Great Thessalian hero. A name based off of a hero sounds amazing, but now I actually go by the name Tommy. I was told by my sisters that after a week of using the name Jason, I suddenly proclaimed the name Tommy. Tommy is an English name shortened from Thomas, and Thomas comes from the Greek name Didymus, which means twin or double. As a kid, all of my identifications only stated Lan Fat Trung. My parents never changed it for me. So every new school year, I would have to correct my teachers personally. Growing up, I was the awkward kid in the back of the classroom, anxiously waiting for the first attendance call. As they called out, Lan, fat, true, wrong, I'd hear muffled giggles. And then I'd raise my hand and ask them to call me Tommy instead. Since then, my friends also started giving me nicknames. I now answer to Timmy, Thomas, Tammy, and even Tim Tam. Eventually, my name stopped carrying the meaning and significance my parents intended for it to have. Remember the name Zheng Lun Fa? Zheng is my surname, a name that is carried over from generation to generation. Zheng was phonetically translated into Trung, the Vietnamese iteration. That leaves Lun Fa as my given name. Lun became Lan, and Fa became Fat. Zheng is a combination of two Chinese characters, Gong, meaning bow, and Cheng, meaning long or wide. Together, the word means to open up or to spread as an arching bow. Lan is frequently used in Chinese and Vietnamese contexts as a feminine given name, meaning orchid. Funny thing is, this was mistranslated. Lun does not mean orchid. In Vietnamese, Lung, with the accent, denotes a masculine given name, which refers to Ki Lung, or Ke Lun a mythical creature. It is a legendary beast based in ancient Chinese, Korean, and Japanese mythology. It is said to have the head of a dragon, body of a deer, tail of an ox, and a single horn. Sometimes it is depicted with scales, and other times it has flames all over its body. The beast symbolizes good luck and is associated with peace. 
Lastly, we have thought. Depending on what it is paired with, thought can mean to shoot, to launch, or to emit. But in the context of my name, it means wealth, or to become rich. When you put everything together, my name sounds super powerful, a wealthy, auspicious, legendary beast. But there is a deeper meaning to why my parents gave me this name. Let's take a little detour back in time to April 30th, 1975. The Vietnam War had just ended and Saigon was being evacuated. Repression began and was especially severe on the Hoa people. The Hoa people, or Hoa, are an ethnic minority group in Vietnam of Chinese descent. In May of 1978, the Hoa people began to leave Vietnam in large numbers for China. By the end of 1979, around 250,000 of them had sought refuge in China, and many tens of thousands more were among the Vietnamese boat people scattered all over Southeast Asia and in Hong Kong. Many of the refugees failed to survive the passage, facing danger from pirates, overcrowded boats, and storms. And among the tens of thousands of Vietnamese boat people were my parents and their families. My parents spent their teenage years running from war and seeking refuge. The stories I've grown up with are of my parents' childhood, where they would play with empty bullet shells, dull landmines, and run to the mountains for safety when they would hear planes rain down ammunition in the distance. In July 1979, my parents were sponsored, and they immigrated to Canada. Many years later, I was born. It is safe to say that my parents did not have a leisurely lifestyle growing up. My father's older sister, my aunt, wholeheartedly wished for me to not encounter the same challenges that my parents had, so she suggested Lun Fa as my name. Chen Lun Fa. Although I don't formally use this name often, it is who I am. It is my parents' hope for me to have a better life. Like I said, it was not until I had to pick a name for my daughter that I realized how meaningful a name truly is. When my wife and I found out that we were expecting, I began to reflect on my own name and tried to figure out how my parents decided on such a name. Picking a name for myself seemed fairly intuitive, but the idea of picking a name for another person requires a lot more effort and thought. Zheng On Mei Anya Mei Trung Anya is diminutive of Anna, which means inexhaustible, unique, and graceful. On meaning safe and healthy. Mei meaning pretty and beautiful. Being born during a global pandemic, we wish nothing else but for her well-being. We also hope that she grows up with a unique and beautiful heart. As a kid, I did not like that I had a hard to pronounce name. When someone assumed I was foreign, I would instantly correct them and say, I am Canadian. I was born here. Almost as if I was embarrassed to be anything else. I am Canadian. I am Vietnamese. I am Chinese. I am happy to represent my cultures by embracing my many names. And I am no longer embarrassed to be called fat. Again, my name is Zheng Lun Fat. Tommy Lan Fat Trung.